Hey guys, and welcome to this video tutorial from textualhealing.com. Just a quick tutorial today on how to use FileZilla, the FTP client. It's very easy, and uh, what you're going to do is just go to FileZilla uh, on Google and uh, hit the website. And it's this is a free, completely free program. It's it's great. I've been using it for years. Um, so if you're on Windows, hit the Windows uh, button. If you're on uh, Mac, hit the Mac or the all platforms and then you'll see the Mac one and just download it. I'm not going to do that just because uh, just for the sake of time and because I've already got it. So once you've done that, uh, run the install and um, you know, uncheck anything that from SourceForge or whatever that you don't want uh, installed on your computer as well because really all you want is some um, FileZilla. And uh, once you have it, go to your applications and, and find it or go up top and type in FileZilla which I've already done here. And uh, and open it up, and from there you will see this this kind of pop up, and you might get a message at the beginning, but just uh, just hit OK or Next or whatever. And from here, you're just going to click this button over here, which is a, a site manager, and you'll see I've got a link my Link3 Media site connected to this. Um, but what you're going to do is hit New Site and type Test or whatever it's called not test probably. And from there, you're going to enter in all this information. Now, I don't know what this information is for you. It's going to be different depending on who your host is. You're going to have to go into the back end of your hosting into your cPanel and find out what all of the FTP information is. And if you're having trouble finding it or um, anything like that, just give them a call or send them an email and they'll be, I'm sure they'll be happy to help. But it's just some basic information. It'll give you a, a host name maybe a port number, usually not important. Um, and then the main things, the other things will be, you're gonna wanna click normal here. And the other things will be your username, so host name, possibly port, username, and you might be able to pick one yourself, and then the password. And once you have all of that stuff, um, just hit connect. And once you do that, um, it'll run a few things up here. And then over here, you'll see uh, your uh, root directory pop up or whatever directory it is that you're connecting to with that host. And um, you'll be right into the FTP. And now this is a much easier way for me uh, to manage your files than using like the file manager that's built into cPanel for most uh, uh, web hosts. Uh, you have a lot more control usually in here. And it's just a great way to, uh, to organize your files. So, uh, so like I said, um, hit connect and then you'll see all of your root uh, directory files pop up here and then you'll be able to access anything all of your um, subdirectories directories all of that stuff uh, right within this window here uh, and that's about it uh, any questions or anything just leave them in the comment below and we'll be uh, happy to help uh, we'll also leave the leave the link to uh, the files of the download uh, in there as well thanks guys and have a great day mm -hmm.